Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. Matthew Acrobat's quarantine series. Uh, today we're going to work on a leg workout uh, that's going to be broken up into uh, six components, um, uh, six different series. So the first one's going to be something that I like to call the Jane Fondas. Then we're going to work on some bridging exercises. After that, we'll be on our hands and knees doing things in quadruped. We're going to go from there and start working on our quads. Then from that, we're gonna do more dynamic um, exercises uh, in standing uh, that will include jumping and squats um, and calf raises, uh, all different variations of each one. And then we'll go ahead and just kind of come on down and do a little bit of stretching. Um, go ahead, feel free to uh, fast forward the video, rewind it, use it as you please, uh, as you uh, try to navigate just kind of working out at home. All right, so first we're gonna start with the Jane Fondas. I'm gonna first show you the different, uh, there are five different movements. We're gonna do uh, each one 10 times, uh, then we'll do the other side, and then we'll go ahead and move on to our next series. Okay. So, so you're gonna be on your side, in side line here. You're gonna make sure that the bottom hip is flexed along with the bottom knee. You're then going to bring the top leg back, pointing the toe down, and you're gonna lift up 10 times, doing 10 abduction side lifts. After that, you're gonna hold, and you're gonna do 10 forward circles. You're then gonna do 10 backward circles. You're then gonna kick your butt 10 times, and then you're gonna go ahead and do knee to elbow. Then we go ahead on to the other side. All right, here we go. We turn that toe down, and we go up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold at the top, ten forward circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now kick the butt ten times. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out. No need to elbow. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good work, other side. Here we go. Again, position, flex that bottom hip and knee. Pop the left foot or the top leg pointing down and make sure it's behind your body. And we're off for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and forward circles for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, backward circles for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Hold and kick your butt for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now knee to elbow. Here we go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. All right, as you take your rest, I'm just gonna bring you through the bridge series that we're gonna do. We're first going to do a regular bridge where your feet are going to be hip distance apart. You're gonna squeeze your butt, you're gonna lift up, okay? We're going to do that um, 10 times, and then we're going to hold the top for 30 seconds. 
Then we're going to straighten out one leg. We'll bring it up at the level of the other knee and then push your hips up to do single uh, limb uh, bridges, okay? We hold that for 30 seconds and then we're gonna do the other, other leg. After that, we're then going to do bridge heel slides. You're gonna push your hips up. You're going to slide that foot all the way down, bring it back, slide the other foot, bring it back, and then we come down. We'll do that 10 times. Lastly, quickly, we're gonna do one-legged heel slides where we go back and forth really quick, 10 times, and then we'll do the other side. All right, so here we go. Again, position. Feet hip distance apart. You're gonna squeeze your butt, and then you're gonna push the hips up into the air. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold for thirty. Halfway there, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down, lift that right leg up, squeeze the butt, and push up for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, and hold. And 15 more seconds. Here we go. For 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down, other leg, here we go, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold for 30. For 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good work. Take a little breather. Shake it out a little bit. <sighs> now we're going to do bridge slides. Here we go. And we're going to push up. Slide that foot out. Slide it back up. Other foot. Slide it out. Slide it back up and down. One. Out. Out. Two. Out. Out. Three. Out. Out. Four. Out. Out. Five, five more, feel the hamstrings. Out, out, one, out, out, two, out, out, three, out, out, four, last one, out, out, Five. Now we're going to push back up and quickly we're going to do 10 on one leg and then 10 on the other. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Good work. Whew. Take a breather, get a drink of water, and look up the next thing that we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna do our quadruped series. All right, the first thing from here is you're gonna be on your hands and knees. You're gonna straighten out your leg. You're gonna lift up and down. We're gonna do that 10 times. We're then going to bring the leg up. We're gonna circle one way, going 10 times. Circle the other way, going 10 times. Then we're gonna go into fire hydrant back to lower extremity of the bird dog, okay? Then after that, we're gonna do the same thing in abduction. We're gonna go ahead and either with bent legs, do fire hydrant, okay? Or we do it with straight legs going up. We then circle, we circle backwards, okay? And then from here, we're gonna hold for 15 seconds. We then bring it down and we do the other leg. All right, here we go. On your hands, knees. And let's start with the left leg first, okay? Go ahead and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And one way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other direction for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I forgot to mention a hold for fifteen. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna turn facing this way. And we're gonna go into fire hydrant back to Verdun for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, and we're going to go right into the other leg. Bring the light, right leg back and left for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Circle one way for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one other direction, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and hold for 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and fire hydrant. Back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Take a quick breather. Shake it out a little bit. All right. We're going to do the next one in abduction. Here we go. And lift. Ten, nine, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Forward circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, bring it in for a split second. With bent leg, go ahead, lift it up for 15. 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake it out. We're going to go to the other side. Here we are. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and forward circles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Take a little shake and back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Shake it out. Last 15 second hold. Here we go. For 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest for a second. Whew. Will you burn? Almost there, guys. Keep on resting. I'm just going to show you the next thing that we're going to do. I like to call this lower, lower extremity can't paint the canvas. You're going to, I'll show you at different angles here. You're going to sweep in towards the stabilizing leg. You're going to lift, externally rotate that hip, turn into that fire hydrant position, flex those toes straight in the leg, and come back. So I'll show you with the other leg going this way. So you go towards the stabilizing leg, externally rotate that hip, bend the knee, flex the toes, straighten the leg, and come back. All right, let's give it a try. We're gonna do 10 on both legs. Let's start with the right leg first. Okay, in, sweep, extend. One, two. Three, four, five, five more, you got it. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good judge, give it a little shake. <sighs> okay, other side, here we go. And one. Two, three, four, five, five more, you got it. One, two, three, four, last one, five, and relax. Whew. All right, that's enough with just isolating those glutes and the hamstrings. Good work. We're gonna go on to isolating the quads while sitting. Okay, so we have a couple of different variations to this. We're gonna do one, two, three. We're gonna do six different variations. Okay, the further down you have your hands, down your either thigh or your shins, the harder it's gonna be, okay? So if your level is back here, that's perfectly fine. If that's too easy for you, then you can go as far as you want. I tend to be right at any level. Okay, we're first gonna go left. You can be on your fingertips or your palms. Left leg's up, keeping the leg as straight as possible. Your toe can be pointed, or your toes can be up towards the ceiling. I'm a gymnast, I tend to point them. All right, then we do the other leg, okay? So either pointed, our toes towards the ceiling. Then we're going to do 15 with legs together. We're then going to do the same thing straddled. Other side, both at the same time. After that, we are going to hold for 15 seconds with feet together and then 15 seconds with legs apart. So this is quads and also abdominals. Are you guys ready? Okay, rhetorical questions. 
Let's go ahead and do this. Let's start with the right leg first. Okay, have your hands anywhere along the thigh. I like to have the knee level or a little bit past. And here we go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Other side, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Shake it out real quick. And both legs together. Here we are. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good work. Stretch out the stomach really quickly. Breathing here. Then we're going to repeat it and straddle. Let's give it ourselves about 10 more seconds. And let's start making our way back to our seat. Legs separate. Let's go ahead, let's start with the left leg this time, okay? My hands are gonna be by my left knee. We're gonna sit up as tall as we can, point or extend those toes, and here we go. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Other side, here we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Shake it out. Getting a mad cramp right now. All right, we're gonna do the center. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Go ahead and lie back, stretch it out. Shake out the legs. Good work, guys. You have one more thing to this series. 15 second holds. Come back up. Legs straight out in front in a pike. We got it. Okay. I'm actually gonna go ahead and dorsiflex my ankles, extend those toes for this one. Sit up nice and tall, here we are. For 10, I have 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and down. Go ahead, stretch it out, breathe here. Two more breaths. And come back up to seated. Hands straight out in front, keep your legs straddled. Let's go ahead, let's have those toes facing towards the ceiling again. And here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, ah, good work. Take another breather, get a drink of water. Good job, guys. Okay, let me refer back to my notes here. Okay. We did our pike series. All right, now we're gonna be standing. So, first thing we're gonna do we're gonna do 30 quick squats, okay? When we do this, the hands go forward as you go down. As you come back up, the hands come down. You want the knees parallel with your ankles, feet hip distance apart. Went from a side view, I don't wanna see your butt sticking out and your chest arch, okay? I want you to try to pull belly in, nice flat back going down. Do that 30 times. 
Then we're gonna do a 30 second hold. Holding that for 30 seconds, okay? Then we're gonna do 30 squat jumps, okay? Every time that you come down, it goes toe, heel, bend the knees. I don't wanna hear a sound. Then we're gonna do another 30 second hold, okay? Then after that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do lunge jumps here. Okay, after our lunge jumps, we're gonna lunge back our knee, or sorry, I'll come to the side. We're gonna go into a lunge. We're going to bend and straighten 10 times, and then we hold for 30 seconds. Then we do the other leg. Whew, I know this leg. This is a, a long sequence here, but we got this. And then we're gonna do knee to runner. So we'll be on our knee, we come up. Knee to runner, up. After that, we're then going to go ahead and do a knee jumps, knee runner jumps. Up, all the way up. So jump at the end, okay? So for that, for those motions, it's gonna be 10 staying on the ground, 10 jumps. Then we're gonna finish off with two uh, one minute wall sits. And then last but not least, we're gonna do a heel raise exercise, which I'll explain once we take a break after the wall sits. All right, guys, let's do this. Okay, so take a couple more deep breaths. And quickly, let's do 30, squ 30 squats. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and facing sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and hold for 30. Fifteen more seconds. Breather, shake out the legs. Let's get ready for squat jumps. All right, here we go. And squat jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, quick running break. All right, 15 more, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Whew. We got it. 30 second, 30 second squat hold. Whew. Ready? Here we go. All right, 15 more seconds. Take a little breather and again. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and rest. Good work, get a drink of water. Almost there, guys. All right. We got one of my favorites. We got our lunge jumps. Here we go, we're gonna do 10 on each side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, ten. Take a quick breather. All right, hands on hips. Here we go. And bend the back knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up. We're gonna do the other leg, then we're gonna do our holds. All right, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Whew, my quads are on fire. Not sure about yours. All right. Okay, let's do our holes, the knee to runners, and then knee to running jumps. Almost there, guys. Okay, there we go. Hold for 30. Hip square. Fifteen. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Shake it out. All right, next side. Okay, here we go. And down for thirty. Hip square. Fifteen. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And up. Another drink of water. Got this, guys. Let's actually go ahead, change up the order a little bit, give our quads a little bit of a rest or no work on our calves right now. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do 30 calf raises, then we're gonna do 15 on each leg. Okay, and when we do that, we can go ahead, hold on to a wall as well. Okay, so hands either on hips or on wall. I'll probably put my hands on the wall once I start doing one leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last five, five, four, three, two, 
One, shake it out a little bit. Let me actually, let's see. I'm gonna turn the camera. There we go. Okay, here we are. Left leg first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it out. Other side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Shake it out. We're in you hold. Here we go. Hold for 20. 19, 18, 17, find your balance. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, whoop, 3, 2, 1. Here we go. 15 seconds on the left for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, higher, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take a breather. We're going to do the right leg. Here we go. And 1, and up, sorry, for 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and relax. Take a quick break. Take some water if you need it. All right. Okay, almost there, guys. Promise. Now we're gonna do left. We're gonna do knee to runner. Okay, we're gonna do left leg first. Then we'll do our right. Take another break, and then we'll start jumping. All right, start on that right knee, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, here we go, on that left knee, and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a quick break. Now we're going to do the same thing with a little hop at the end. Take your time. All right, guys, let's do this. Right knee down. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, take a little break, walk it out. Okay, here we go. Left side, on the left knee, and let's go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost there, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work, guys. Take another break. Socks. We're 
we're gonna do wall sits. Just two of them. First minute. Get in position. Eric's gonna kill me about these windows. Here we go. It's okay, you guys are worth it. Just sit and relax here. Your thighs will be burning. They'll probably shake. Why not right now? Let's see, we're almost halfway there. We're in this together. 30 more seconds. You got it, guys. 20. Hands going on. 10 more seconds, I'm taking a quick break. Whew. Here we go. Three, two, one, stand up. Check it out, we just have one of those. You're almost there and then we can stretch. tomorrow. More of an arm guy, not a leg guy. This brings me back to my gymnastics days. Okay, let's reset. Here we go. Last strengthening thing for today. We got it. And start. As you can see, I'm not quite parallel to the ground. That's all I can do right now. You can try to go a little bit lower. Some of you guys are a little bit stronger than me, or a lot stronger. <laughs> we got it, we're almost halfway there. Halfway there, we're gonna take a little breather. Five, four, three, two, one. Check out the legs, we're going right back down. Here we go. Oh, timer, okay. We got 20 seconds, we got it. <sighs> 10. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work guys, we're gonna stretch out real quick. Nothing too fancy today, just a little cool down. All right. First, I wanna go ahead, get those glutes. We're gonna do a figure four stretch. So you're gonna lie on your back. You're going to take your right leg first, your right ankle, and cross it over the distal end of the far, far end of your left thigh. Interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Push with the right elbow and pull with the left arm, and we're just gonna hold here. Oh, all the stuff we were doing in the beginning, all that glute stuff, let's just go ahead and squeeze out that muscle. Let's do 10 more seconds. A little sweaty, my foot sliding. <sighs> Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and get the other side. You'll notice one glute is higher than the other. My left glute is higher than my right. We're gonna hold here. If you have difficulty with that left foot sliding on the right thigh, you can go ahead and hold the left ankle with the right hand and the rest is the same. Give me 
10 more seconds. Go ahead and uncross. We're gonna stick with the glutes right now. We're gonna go ahead and take the right, we're gonna be on your hands and knees, you're gonna take the right knee and bring it to the right thumb. Left ankle is going, or left heel is going to be pushed against that uh, left thigh. So right heel against left thigh. We slide back that left leg. We square off the hips. And then we go ahead and we stretch out that right glute in pigeon pose. This is a little bit of a deeper stretch. You can be on your forearms if you like. You're just trying to take that left hip and push it down towards the mat. If you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, go ahead, take that left arm and leave it underneath the right arm. Place your left side of your forehead down for support. And let's go ahead, go onto your right butt cheek, swing that left leg around. You're gonna have the outside of the left ankle to the distal right thigh. You're gonna take that right hand. You're gonna take the, well, the nook of the right elbow. You're gonna turn towards your left, look over that left shoulder. Try to grow up nice and tall, pull the shoulder blades down and back. Extend the neck. I'm feeling a stretch in that left glute. the leg around, come back to your hands and knees. Now we're going to take the left knee to the left thumb. You're then going to bring the left heel to the right distal thigh. You slide that leg back. You square off those hips and you fall forward for a nice pigeon pose. And just relax here. Everything should be pretty passive. Go ahead, if you'd like to, weave that right arm behind the left arm and rest your right forehead down on the mat for support. And go ahead, come on up. Shift onto the left butt cheek, swing that right leg around. Bring your right foot right next to the outside of the right foot, right next to the left knee. We're going to take the nook of our elbow and cradle our right knee. We're going to sit up nice and tall, feeling the stretch in the right glute. I know for me, my left hip doesn't externally rotate as much as the right, so it's hard for me to get my right sitting bone or ischial tuberosity to the ground where it's really easy for me to do it on the other side. And with that, what I can do is if I wanted to focus more on that, I can bring my right, the outside of my right ankle to my uh, left knee and then I leave my right knee pointing up towards the ceiling just to anchor it down. And then from there, I can try to push that right hip bone down to the ground. If it hurts your knee, then what you can do as well is you can bring, you can bring the left foot up and try to cradle this, cradle your right shin in and push down with the left knee and turning towards, well in my case towards the camera, but towards the front. 
okay? But that's not necessary. I'm getting ahead of myself. Swing that leg around. All right. Sit back in your heels. This alone could be a nice quad stretch just with how much quad we did earlier. But right now, let's go ahead. Let's go into hamstring and calf stretching. Okay. So I like to just go into a downward facing dog here. We're just doing a nice gentle stretch and we can bend one leg at a time. Holding and switch to the other foot or other side. One more time each side. And lock your feet on up. Bend your knees slightly, grab opposite arms. We're just gonna do a gentle ragdoll here, getting the hamstrings. You can shake up the legs a little bit, let your neck go. quad stretch and then we're all set. I'm going to turn the camera. We're going to do this in standing. Again, we're just warming down. This is not necessarily for flexibility. It's more for recovery. Okay, we go ahead, grab the left ankle. You're going to try to bring your hips and tuck them under and then you can try to bring that left knee down to create more tension in that left thigh. It's beautiful or any day today. And other leg. Go ahead and thrust your hips under, then try to lengthen that knee down towards the ground. the foot. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on that journey. Uh, legs are always really tough for me, so it was nice to have your company. Um, I'm going to be continuing to make these videos as long as we're all staying inside. I hope it's helpful. If anyone has any questions or if ever anyone has any requests or needs any help with like either an injury or something that they can't address right now because most PT clinics are closed at the moment. Ours, Excel Physical Therapy, is opening up uh, next Monday uh, with new protocols in order to keep everyone safe uh, due to the coronavirus. Um, so if you're one of my patients, um, you're more than welcome to come on in. I'll be there, I'll be safe, and I look forward to working with you soon. All right, have a great rest of your day and until the next video, have a good one, bye.